Hello everyone, my name is Skyler, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a drop down list from a dynamic table range. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in it and show you how to do it first, and then I will talk about some of the benefits this brings when you're setting up your data validation. Okay, so here we have some item numbers in one column and fruit in the other. Our goal is to be able to click this yellow cell and display a drop down list where we can select any fruit that's in the fruit column. The first thing we need to do is convert this range into a table. So go ahead and select the entire range of cells, go to the insert tab and select table. Then go ahead and press OK. If you ever want to get rid of these filter drop down arrows, all you have to do is select anywhere in the table, go to the data tab and click this filter button. This will remove all the drop down arrows. The next thing we want to do is give the range a name. So here we're going to select all the cells in the fruit column because those are the values we want to appear in the drop down list. If you have a longer table, you can select the first cell in that column and then use the shortcut Control shift down to select all the cells in that column. Then we're going to go to the formulas tab and click define name. Here you can see that Excel automatically knows that we are referring to the fruit column in table one. And that's the cool thing about using tables instead of just a random range of cells. Now instead of calling this range apple, we're going to name it fruit. Then click OK. Now if you open up the name box, you will see your new defined name and if you select it, it will select all the cells in that name range. Or you can go to the formulas tab and click name manager and you'll see the new name range there as well and what it refers to. Okay, so now we're going to select the yellow cell, go to the data tab and click data validation. Here we're going to allow data from a list and for the source, all you have to do is type the equal sign and whatever you named your range, which in our case is fruit. Then select OK. If you click the drop down arrow, now you will see all the fruit that's in the fruit column. Now this is where the benefits come in. For example, I'm going to add a new item to this table, so item 6, and let's say the new fruit is a pear. Now if we click the drop down, you will see that pear has been added to the drop down list. So that's how you utilize data validation when you're using tables, but some of you may be asking, why do we have to create a table and give a range a name? Well let me show you. So if we go to this other sheet, this range is not set up as a table. So if we select this yellow cell, go to the data tab, click data validation, allow from a list, and highlight our source. If we click the drop down arrow, it might look like it works at first, but when we go add in another item, so we're gonna add a pair again, it doesn't appear in the drop down list. Because if we look at our source range, it's only from D4 to D8, and our new item is at D9, so it's out of that range. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you get a chance to apply this technique on your next Excel project. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and if you need any help on your Excel projects, click the contact link in the description. Have a good day, and thanks for watching.